I'm JC Latham, left tackle for IMG National Football Team, and I'm here with Mike McGlinchey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> oh, uh, I, just got a, <laughs> I just got a few questions for um, my guy right here, asking about the league. So um, first question I want to ask you is, uh, what's some advice you have uh, that sets yourself above other high schoolers, college, and also in the pros? I think the, the main thing is just to work hard, and as, as cliche as that sounds, it, that's all that you can do, that's all you can control. Um, the college recruiting process is one of the craziest things you'll ever go through in your life, and um, just managing that while being able to focus on playing hard and playing as a, and, and being a good teammate and, and, and listening to your coaches. That's all, that's all I really did. You know, I just did that as hard as I could and tried to do it a little bit better than everybody else, and that's, uh, that's how I you know, got to where I am. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, my next question is, um, what would you tell your current self if you could travel back in time to your 16-year-old self? Whew. In regards to football? Or just life in general, too. Um, just keep lifting, because that was the hardest thing for me. I, I, I came out of, I, I, when I was 16, I was still playing basketball and lacrosse and all that kind of stuff. So I was a bean pole going into college. So eat more and, and, and lift harder, I guess, for, for my sports self. And then for just life stuff, you know, just stay the course and have fun. I think that's the biggest thing that kids like your age kind of lose sight of these days is because everything's on social media and all that kind of stuff that you forget how to you know be a kid and I think that's the most important thing you know growing up as a 16 year old is to make sure you're having fun with what you're doing well definitely I always get lit gotta get lit <laughs> all right um, <laughs> um, all right so what advice do you say do you have for um, linemen across the country for guys my age trying to make it to the league like I said, I think stay hard lifting, especially in high school, you know, get a good base at high school, but um, just play as hard as you can and, and finish your blocks and make sure that, you know, you listen to the, what your coach has to say in high school and then the rest will take care of itself once you get to college. But when, you, when you're in high school, you got to be the guy that's finishing blocks, working the hardest, being nice to the people around you and making sure everybody has uh, had, views you as, as, a, as a great person and, and making sure that you are a great person so that when everybody comes around to ask about you, they have the, uh, they, they, they have the right things to say. All right, cool, cool. I got two more, two more, two more. All right, so um, how do you think someone should go about uh, reaching their goal into dominating in the NFL? What's some like tips that gives you the advantage over other left tackles in the league or right tackles in the league? I think the main thing um, that I've found, the harder that I've, you know, the further that I've gotten in football, the more pressure and stress that I put on myself, uh, the worse I did. So the, the, the idea is to prepare as hard as you can each week so that once it gets to the game time, you can just cut loose and have fun with it. So right. never lose that never lose that high school feeling of playing football and smiling and having fun with your friends because that's how you play your best football is when you're having fun and p playing free. All right, cool. So, and um, last question. Last question of the uh, day, of the day, of the day. All right, so out of all the offensive and defensive linemen, who do you think has the most drip? Drip? Yeah, like who looks the um, best out there? It's hard, it's hard for me to say a, an O lineman because not many of us have drip for what the kids are calling it. Um, I'd say, you know, um, Vaughn Miller probably has a lot of it. Khalil Mack has a lot of it. You know, guys that are also the best players, but also look the part too. Yeah. That's really what drip is to me. I don't think it's the guy that shows up with the best cleats on or whatever that is, but it's the guys that have the game to back it up on top of how they look on the field. Who, who you think on the you know, your team on your team has the best? Uh, I think Sherm's got a lot of it because of who he is and he know he, you know what he's done in his career. And he's he's stayed consistent. Jimmy Jimmy G's got a lot of I mean Jimmy G is like I think he's like the drip king. I, everybody wants to be him, man. And then uh Bosa's got a lot too, for sure. Yeah. I figured, I figured. All right, that's all. That's all I have here for you today.